So there are a couple of babies happening in the future of my family. So I'm feeling kind of crafty in like making plushies. So I'm going to make a whale plushie. Um, I found this on Pinterest and then followed it to the blog that it came from. And it was really cool but no pattern. Whatever. I can draw kind of I guess. So here's my whale stuff. And here's my giant scissors. They're not mine. I'm at work still. But those are some pretty darn big scissors. So now I gotta cut these pieces out and take them home. So I can make a whale. Okay. That looks a lot like a whale. This makes me really happy. I'm not quite so sure about this tail. But I might need some more width to it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to use this three ring binder sleeve to store my pattern pieces so that it doesn't get wet because it was raining this day. Um, and just so all of my pieces stay together. So we'll shove those in there and head on home. And because I'm worried about my tail being too small, I made a bigger one. It's not a whole lot bigger. But it is bigger. Oh, that's my timer! Ah, gotta go do science. Okay, so here we have all of our pieces cut out. We've got four pieces of fin. I don't know if you can see that very well. But four pieces of fin. We've got a polka dot fabric in blue with white spots. And then a dark green fabric with like flowers on it. And then the bottom is in the polka dots. The top two top pieces are in that dark green, which really you really can't see. And then the tail is also in that dark green. Um, here are the big pieces. I got these as remnants. So this is kind of a mix of blue and light blue and dark blue. And this is green. Oh, there you can kind of see the pattern on it a little, I guess. But yeah, we're going to get to hand sewing. And by we, I mean me. I've turned the light on so you can see a little better. So here is one completed fin. Got the green on one side and the polka dots on the other. And here's another completed fin that I haven't turned inside out yet. Um, I learned that it's super hard if you just leave just the tip open, or this flat edge open. So I leave that and then a little bit of a curve. Um, I backstitched this all the way around. Oh, and here is my tail. Oh, you can actually see the pattern on the green. Um, so this is where I found out and ended up um, kind of undoing this whole, the whole sides. But yeah, just make sure you leave enough space so that you can flip your things inside out. Alright, next up, the top of Le Whale and to turn this inside out. Um, I've also learned that it's super nice to use a pin. I thought I was not going to have any pins and then I realized, Tam, you wear hijab, you have lots of pins around. So I just put a pin in on the end so that the ball is hanging out and then you pull it up through the, um, through the opening. Quick update on the status of my whale. Um, this is the top and I did a blanket stitch around the edge. Um, I could have and probably no, I could have backstitched it, but I decided against it. Um, really just kind of testing out which sorts of seams work best, which sorts of stitches work best for this project. Um, and I kind of like the blanket stitch. Um, you've got to be a little careful. i got to get rid of that hump. But, yeah, this is what it looks like. Got a little bit of a hump here, but I guess, you know, every whale is different. So, you know, there you go. Also, I forgot to mention, um, I'm starting on the belly, and I want to make sure that I have two pleats um, in the belly. I may have not made it big enough to accommodate the fact that I wanted two pleats, um, but these pleats will kind of follow the curve of the whale belly. Um, we'll do two on each side, and then we'll sew it together. Inshallah.
Let's take a second and talk about these belly pleats, all right, for your whale or for my whale. First off, you want to make sure that your bellies are going opposite ways. That way, that way when they're done, you have your pleat and your other pleat and they'll both be on the outside of the whale. So if you're doing this with um, a fabric that has a definitely a definite right and wrong side, your pleat oh, will go on the wrong side. Sorry, a flash flood warning just popped up, so I'll be aware of that. Um, yeah, so make sure it's on the inside. And they're not, um, being that it's kind of a curvy pleat, it is not fun to put in or easy. But you just want to make sure it starts and stops. Where's the pattern? Okay, you're going to want to make sure it stops since I'm only going to do one on each side. Um, starts in the middle and goes down to like here. Okay, so where the marker ends to the center. Alright. Alright, now let's get to sewing. I'm probably going to use a back stitch on this um, because that'll be way easier and make a whole lot more sense than using a blanket stitch. Here they are, accomplished belly pleats. Um, if I was making a dress or something, I would iron these down. But since I'm making a whale, I don't necessarily want them to be super flat. I'd like them to have a little bit of floof to them. So I'm going to leave that like that. All right, push them right sides together. And sew along this edge, all the way down. Um, if you have any extra fabric, I kept this pretty close to the edge. If you have any extra fabric, um, you can probably leave it. Um, if you was going to trim it, I would trim it just at this end and at the other end, so it doesn't get in the way of your other stitches. Alright, so despite all of my less than glorious sewing, uh, my bottom pieces are now joined together. Please don't look at that seam. It's really, really ugly, and I'm so happy it's going to be on the inside. So now what we have to do is join the top body piece and the bottom body piece together. As you can see, they should fit together fairly well. Yes. Um, and also, don't forget, while you're sewing, to, you know, shove your fins in there. They should go like this. Yeah. Shove your fins in there so that they actually exist. And don't forget your tailpiece. Alright. Come back when we've got some of this a little more uh, connected. You know what I'm saying? Connected. Alright, humans are coming to the very end of this project, kind of. Um, so you want to pin your whale together. Here is my front and here is my butt. Um, or anterior and posterior, if you desire dorsal, ventral, lateral sides. Okay, but you're going to pin your wheel together, make sure it's inside out, that you can see all of your seams. And I don't know if you can see it, but right here is where my fins are. So if we open it up a little bit, you can see, or maybe you can't, that the fins are in there. Okay, there's one down there. So, you want to make sure your fins are inside and not outside, because if you flip it... Because when you flip it, you don't want your fin to be still in the whale. Okay, so just going to sew probably along the front three quarters. Alright, come on now. Along the front three quarters or so, maybe that's more like two thirds. Um, leave this open so I can flip it, and also so I can figure out how to put the tail in there because I'm not entirely sure. Oh my goodness! Okay, so we're done um, for the most part. Legs are on. I mean, fins are on. Excuse all my loose string. Uh, fins are on. Everything is turned inside out. Still have not quite figured out how to attach my tail, but I'll figure that out, inshallah. Um, for stuffing, I have this 
scarf that I don't really wear. So I cut off a little bit, cut it into strips, and then cut those strips into small pieces. Um, it's very soft, so that's why I picked that. Um, we'll get to stuffing and probably should figure out how to attach the tail first. So this little cutie is almost done. As you can see, very well stuffed in all directions. And all that's left to do is to sew this up. Oh, and for the tail, I don't know how well this is focusing. Probably not at all. Okay, there we go. I just kind of put it underneath and sewed it in a triangle along the base of the back. Okay, and that's what it looks like from the inside. Not super stellar, but you know it works. Alright, and then there's all the stuffing. So we're just going to turn the edges in a little bit and sew them up. That's it. And then try and figure out something to do for the eyes. Okay guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. My completed whale plush. Ta-da! Um, I used a bit of the light blue from the scarf to make the eyes. I don't know that I'll do that anymore, but it had to happen. So, you can see by that first side that the fabrics don't match, but it's okay. It's a first attempt. Um, it's really just a super cute hand-sized whale. The belly pleats look really nice. Um, and I think it would make a nice gift for anybody in general. You can make them as large or as small as you want, really. So, get to sewing. You may, as a curious human being that I know that you are, um, wonder how I store my patterns. Well, this is a problem I myself had to solve very recently. Um, so, for this whale pattern, it had one, two, three, four pieces. So I just kind of stacked them all up. There's the back, the bottom, the fin, and the the lateral fin, and the tail fin. And I just made a little piece of paper that said, Hand-Sized Whale, because it is very handy in size. Um, bad bad joke, but it is approximately the size of my hand. Um, and then when I made the pattern, which was August of 2015. So yeah, I've got that and I stapled it too close, right? And then I think I'll just store them inside of my big, um, my big three ring binder using one of these, um, like these plasticky, like paper holders. So open it insert whale pattern gracefully this is really hard to do with your left hand when you're not left handed okay so insert it and then store in three ring binder I guess I could put probably all of my toy patterns in here when I have more because right now all of my toy patterns are in here so you know inshallah I'll be making more and cataloging those as I go along um, if you follow me on the gram, you saw a picture of the mess <laughs> that I made on my bed in finishing up the whale, but also a finished picture. So, you know, go take a look at that. Um, alright, I will see you humans in my next video, inshallah. Here is a much better resolution picture of my completed first attempt whale. And next you're going to see a completed version of a denim whale that I did. Um, happy crafting everyone and I hope you give this a try.